Hey guys, Peter James here, really excited to show you the songwriting template for Logic Pro and for GarageBand. Um, it actually came about after having a conversation with one of our Hillsong songwriters. And they really wanted a template that was super easy to use that had great main instruments for writing a song to, like piano, roads, pads, uh, ambient pads and all 12 keys, etc, etc. And so we've been going back and forth trying to find out exactly what they wanted and we put all their ideas into this template. Uh, Dan Ferguson jumped on board as well and he's a genius at putting together percussion loops and drums and everything so that's all in this template as well and it actually morphed into something a bit bigger than just a songwriting template to create a vibe to write a song to. You can just use it for that but um, you can create a really good working demo um, without knowing hardly anything about Logic Pro or GarageBand um, which we wanted it to be super simple, super easy to use, idiot proof um, but get a great result out of it. So let's jump in and show you how it all works. Okay, so once you've downloaded the product, um, install is super, super easy. All you need to do is put it into the project templates folder and that's located in users, your username, music, audio music apps, project templates. Um, so once it's in there, you can uh, just open up and it'll work. You don't have to worry about um, putting files in different folders. It's just super, super easy this way. Um, you've got two different versions, a GarageBand and a Logic Pro version. GarageBand comes free with any Mac computer that you buy, so um, you don't have to worry about buying additional software if you own a Mac. Um, I'm going to use Logic Pro because I know it a little bit better, I've been using it for years, um, but the templates are basically identical um, between the two different versions. Um, within those, there's two different versions, um, two different templates, I should say. There's a blank version, which you would use if you're writing a song from scratch. But there's also a songwriting template demo song version. And this shows you um, just one example of how you can take your song and produce a really, really good working demo uh, to show others. So I'm just going to quickly open up the Logic version here and show you within a few minutes how to create a vibe for a song uh, to start songwriting to. So super easy to do. Um, but first of all, I'll just do a quick, quick overview of the template. What we've done is set up channel strips for everything, even vocals and acoustic guitar. You can see that we've got compression, EQs, um, delays, reverb, everything to get a great sounding vocal. Um, you don't have to know anything about um, all of this kind of detailed um, production stuff um, to get a great sounding vocal and acoustic pianos are already in there. Um, More reverby, darker one, we've got roads. Um, we've got pads in here. The mod wheel will make it brighter. Um, just quickly going through this. We've even got a synth pulsing pad. Um, we've got strings if you want strings. Um, we've got ambient pads and all 12 keys, as you can see here. All you need to do is open up this uh, track stack and unmute the one that you want to um, use. I'm going to use E, so that's what these two are set up as. Two separate ambient pads. One's a simple drone, one's a little bit more colourful. Um, then we've got um, kits, organic percussion loops, um, which I'm going to show you how to use to get a vibe for a song. We even got um, effects like uh, cymbal builds and crashes and everything in there, a couple of sub basses. Um, but yeah, without going into too much production detail, I just want to show you how to create a vibe for a song. Um, in here also you can put your lyrics, it's just, just a nice thing to do to have it all in the one template without having a separate uh, text file somewhere else. And before I start, I have to show you this little trick that I found out recently. So go to File, Project Settings, MIDI. It's a good idea to turn this on, especially if you're using this template to get a vibe and you have a MIDI note that starts at the beginning of the template and just kind of loops all the way through. This will mean that Logic re-triggers the note. doesn't matter where you start in the template, it'll um, play it. So it means you don't have to keep starting from the beginning of the template to hear everything that you've looped. Um, MIDI-wise, it's just going to um, re-trigger it. So little trick, try turning that on. It'll... Um, make it a whole lot easier for you. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to set up an ambient pad vibe um, in the key of E, and these are the two pads that I'm using. So here we go. Uh, 
So there you go. This one's a simple one. This one's more elaborate, but you can use that um, and have that going over the top of whatever chords you're playing and it'll just create a really nice ambient vibe to write a song to. The next thing um, I like to do is just set up a percussion loop. Um, it's really easy. These are all uh, automatically loops, so you don't have to play in any specific rhythm. You just hold down a note. So on your keyboard from C1 onwards, you can hear all these different uh, percussion loops. We've got tambourines, everything. Um, and they sync to tempo, so you don't have to worry about the tempo. You can even do all of this and then decide you want to change the tempo later and it's not going to affect the template. So I'm just going to quickly record just a note on here and then line it up. It doesn't actually matter where I do it, I'm just putting it randomly here. That's long enough, stop it, um, drag it to beat one. I can open it up if I want to and make it start from there or hit quantize to make sure that it is... Uh, starting from exactly beat one. Now I can drag this as long as I want. Um, whoops, that was the wrong key. Um, and just make this go all the way to the end. I've got a shortcut key to do that, but you can just literally just drag it if you want. So now it goes all the way to the end. And because I turned on the um, chase fixture that I showed you before, it's just gonna trigger wherever I wanna play it in the template. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up just a simple four bar um, chord progression that could be for a chorus or a verse. I'm going to use the roads again I'm not even going to worry about where I start this recording. I'm just going to play it and then line it up afterwards. So here we go Okay, so that's good. Um, let's open it up. I could even be really particular, um, again, quantizing it. It's already quantized by default. I could go through and change the odd note if I wanted to. Actually, let's put it on the beat first, make it easy. There we go. That was too loud, so I'm going to make that a bit quieter. And I want that one to be there. Maybe there. I think that's it. Let's try it from the beginning, see if it sounds good. Percussion's too loud. Okay, I'm being a bit particular. You don't have to be this particular. Um, but I like things to be good if I'm going to listen to them for half an hour when I'm writing a song. Okay, here we go. So now we've got a Rhodes uh, percussion loop and the ambient pads going. I could add another pad if I wanted to, but don't really need to. Let's just do it. Why not? Okay. Let's make sure this is all correct. If I use the sustain pedal, I could leave it in there. Another trick here is to delete the sustain pedal. And I'm going to use a shortcut key, which moves um, the MIDI to the end. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about uh, production stuff. Uh, the goal was to just show you how quick and easy it is to create a vibe. So here we go. Now I've got a pad that goes all the way through. Um, and for the pads, the mod wheel um, will make them brighter or more mellow depending on how bright you want the pad. So I'm going to show you that. Actually, I'll show you it in isolation. So you can have that as bright or as mellow as you want. That's actually my favorite Prophet 5 sample from my analog keyboard, which I've put in this template. Um, but then if you want other vibes, you can literally just copy that across. different vibes if you want, um, pad wise. And then a pulsing one at the bottom. So you can see you can get a bunch of different vibes from different pads, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Just have these two here, uh, one's more stringy sounding, so I'll leave those in. Um, yeah, 
Um, I could put other things in, but I think that's a good start to write a song to. Let's mix it a little bit. Maybe I don't want that and I want a different thing, just move it up. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just say that you've started writing the song and you're like, oh, it's way too fast. I want to make it slower or even faster. I'm just going to play it and muck around with the tempo and show you how easy it is and how even the percussion loop uh, will sync to the new tempo. So yeah, really simple to just change the tempo to whatever you want. Um, and let's say you've uh, written a song and you're like, oh, it's in a guy key, I really want it in a girl key. What would it sound like with that? And you want to change the uh, actual key. Again, that's super easy. Um, ambient pads are really easy. You mute the E. Let's say we want to make it D instead of E. We'll do it for both of these. D. Now the ambient pads are in D. And then we'll just take these, select them all, double click. Command A selects them all, they're already selected. And then we're going to move them down two semitones. So there you go. Um, in a couple of minutes, you can create a vibe to write a song. You can change up the key. You can change the tempo. Everything uh, syncs to that. Um, and then once you've got the vibe and you start writing um, lyrics and you want to guide vocal, you can go to the top, hit record, um, and you've already got a great sounding channel strip here with compression and DSing and EQ and delay and reverb. Um, you can adjust levels if you want, but it just sounds great off the bat. Um, so yeah, hope that really helped just showing you how to create a quick and easy vibe to write a song to using this template um, with the flexibility to change the tempo and key at any point in the songwriting process. So what I might do now is just finish off this walkthrough video, opening up the other template and showing you what a song can sound like if you spend a bit of time producing it up. So this song is a song that myself, my wife and Ben Fielding wrote. Um, all I did was pull the vocals into the template and all the instrumentation is created using this template. So I'll quickly open that up if you want to stick around and I'll play through that. You know my thoughts, you know my questions, yeah they're in the wrestling, even in my doubts, but who can know the depths of your mercy? Weight of your glory, how perfect you are.
dreams above the wonders I've seen. Nothing comes.